Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be doing my manga slash reading reset for June. I haven't done one of these in a few months, but this month I definitely need it, so we're going to do it. I have some reorganizing on my shelves to do because I have about two months worth of books just sitting around that need to go on the shelves. Also, I think I might try to vlog a tiny bit of me going to see the Haikyuu movie and then going to Half Price Books as well because since I'm over near there, I might as well bring all the books I have in that pile that I haven't sold yet. So we'll do that. But first, I want to talk about the manga I'm planning on reading in June. And I don't have that many picked out. I do have some ideas for my TBR for July, but you'll have to wait to see that. But for June, I don't know, I kind of want to read novels. But I do have a couple manga I want to read. Of course, I'm still reading Delicious in Dungeon. Trying to do it slowly. I'm still on volume 9. I've been putting it off because I don't want to catch up and then wait for the final volume, but I'm gonna get back into it in June since we're getting pretty close. And then when I started in May was The Heroic Legend of Arslan. I had previously read the first five volumes and I enjoyed them at the time, so I did what I usually do and I waited for a bunch more volumes to come out. And that was about six years ago, so last month in May I decided I should probably get back to reading that. So I read through volume eight. Volume eight was really, really good. So I paused there because it was kind of a break volume and I'm going to get back into it in June. And then lastly is a manga. I was also going to read in May, but the last volume was being released pretty close to the end of the month. So I pushed it back to June and that is The Country Without Humans. This is a five volume sci-fi series. I read the first volume about a year ago, I wanna say, and I enjoyed it. And since the series was so short, I just waited until the final volume was released and I think I just got that volume in the mail. So not a typical like giant TBR that I usually have, but a very manageable one, especially for me. But now let's go ahead and jump into the next section, which I think will be the reorganization of my bookshelves again. I feel like I reorganize them almost every other month, but I guess I just don't know how to keep things organized, so I need to keep reorganizing. I especially need to find places for all the new volumes I got in the last few months, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so here's the situation. Um, we can see this issue. <laughs> um, I took some manga out from these two shelves because after my manga unhaul, I decided to unhaul a bunch more stuff, which I feel like happens to me every single time I do an unhaul. But, so I have books everywhere. It's mostly on this side, not so much on that side, but you can see my TBR cart here has stuff from a picture I took like two months ago and I never fixed it, so I have to fix that. But here is the big issue. I have a bunch of manga volumes from my last two hauls that don't have any place to go. So they need to go somewhere. I need to reorganize and figure out where they're gonna go on the shelf. So that's what I'm gonna do in this video. All right, you can probably tell from these, but I'm gonna put Delicious in Dungeon right here before Witch Hat Atelier because I just feel like they maybe kind of go together. So that looks a little bit better and there's space over here for more manga, so that's great. Actually, you know what? I think I just said that and now I immediately need to fill up this space because I don't know where else I'm going to put X. So even though I feel like it doesn't quite fit the same thing here, that's where it's gonna go because that's where it fits. Unless I wanna put it next to Doro Hidoro down at the bottom. I guess I can do that. It doesn't really matter. Actually, let's put it down there because that stuff moves around less than this stuff does. So I just feel like it will be better down there. Right, so this shelf is where I keep some ongoing series or really where they end up. And as you can see, I moved quite a few of my figures over here. They all used to be on their own shelf, but I needed that shelf for regular books. 
slash novels. So I moved them over here and I actually want them on the shelf. There just wasn't any space for them. But because I have recently been unhauling stuff, there's now space for them, which is great. So I'm pretty much already out of space on this shelf, so that's a problem I will have to deal with later. But for now, this is what it's looking like. Oh, let me move Denji back to, to where he is supposed to be. There you go. I can just barely fit Yona of the Dawn 41 here. There we go, but next time I'm definitely going to have to move Shadow's house somewhere else, but that's a problem for later me again. Right here, I need to put Blood on the Tracks, volume 16, and then because I'm lazy, I'm also going to put Devil Ecstasy right here. I kind of want it in the back, but those other series are all red and this one is not yet, so this is fine for now. Actually, you know what, I'm also going to put Vampire Hunter D right there. Oop, not there. Right there. And then that's fine. I don't know where else I would put it, so that's where it goes. Up here on one of the two sports manga shelves I have, I'm going to be putting Medalist, if I could fit it back there. There we go. Medalist Volumes 1 and 2. I have a little bit more space for that as it continues to release. All right over here, I'm going to put my new volumes of the summer Hikaru died right there as well as glitch volume three both of these are very yellow then I'm also going to put steel of the celestial shadows I don't really think it fits the vibe of the shelf but I don't know where else to put it so that's where it goes I feel like that happens a lot on my shelves. All right, here I'm going to put Auto, not because, again, it fits with this series. Although I don't know how Golden Kamui and Banana Fish go together anyway, I'm just gonna put that there because there's some space and the series is ongoing, so that's where it's gonna go. They don't fit there. I thought they were the same size as the Viz Sigs, but they're not, they're bigger. That's annoying. So I guess it is gonna go up near Witch Head Atelier. Okay. <laughs> so I can lift this shelf up one. There is room for that. And then I will be able to put X there. Do I want to do all that? That's moving a lot of books. Or should I just put these up there? Let's just put those up there. And if I have to do that eventually, again, that's a problem for later me. Okay, so here's what I did. I just put them there. I'm not really happy with them there, but they fit there. So I'm not gonna deal with it right now anymore. For this shelf, I don't really have very many to add, just one volume, but as you can see, I unhauled a bunch, so they are definitely in disarray. So let me fix those.
Okay, lastly down here, as you can maybe tell, I unhauled Kuroko's basketball, finally. So now I have space for cross game, which luckily is the same height as the neighboring Hikaru no Go. So these can go here. And that's great. More room for more sports manga as well. Okay, so that's how everything is looking. Ignore these hardcover volumes. I need to get the stool out to put them up there. So, but everything else looks pretty good. I like that I have room for my figures because I do want them next to the series that they're from. I feel like it looks nice that way. Next, I'm gonna do my TBR cart real quick. I'm gonna put some manga that I talked about already that I'm planning on reading, as well as maybe some novels and maybe some other stuff. We'll see. Real quick, sorry for the echo. Here's my TBR cart. In the back here, I have a bunch of volume ones that I recently read that I'm gonna talk about in my next video, my first impressions of those series. Then in front, I like to keep my library books on top because they're going to be gone soon, so they need to be in a place that's easy to access. And then I just put the rest of Delici Delicious and Dungeon there. And then down here, I put, those are our notebooks in the back, ignore those. But I have Your Former there, The Country Without Humans, and you probably saw in the last clip, I grabbed those off the shelf, Our Not So Lonely Planet Travel Guide, because I decided I wanted to read that in June as well. I think the fifth volume comes out towards the end of the month. And then I have volumes nine through 18, right, of The Heroic Legend of Arslan. So I'm hoping to finish or catch back up to that series as well. And I just thought I would show you what this shelf is looking like. I had a bunch of puzzles there. I moved those down to the bottom of the shelf there you can see. And so then I had room for all of my JoJo's Bizarre Adventure stuff. This is my keychain stuff. And then as you can see, I have a lot of books. These shelves, I can fit three layers of books on them. Right now there's just one layer, but I have been buying lots of books recently because I've really been getting back into reading them. Lots of horror, some fantasy, that's pretty much it for the moment anyway, because that's what I've been wanting to read. I think I'm much more of a mood reader when it comes to novels than I am manga. Anyways, next I think I'm going to be doing a little bit of a vlog portion of the video where I go to see the Haikyuu movie, maybe do a review of it afterwards. Probably not though. And then I have some books to get rid of at Half Price Books. Actually, I should show you those now. Okay, so here is all the stuff that I'm going to be bringing to Half Price Books. We'll talk about this box in a minute, but this is everything that I didn't sell on Manga Swap, whether I just didn't bother listing it or whether it didn't sell. I'm going to bring it to Half Price Books. I know I could get more money for it if I, again, put it on Manga Swap or eBay or something. I just don't care enough to do that. Especially with all these series that have like two, three, four volumes, I just don't care. I'll just bring it to Half Price Books. Hopefully I don't find anything at Half Price Books to buy, so it just ends up being a positive, but you never know with me. I think last time I went to Half Price Books, I bought an entire series and then didn't read a single volume of it. So I don't tend to make good decisions at Half Price Books, but I'm just gonna get rid of all these, so I'm not gonna go through all of them. You can read them, maybe but I did manage to finally get rid of volumes two through four of the Darwin Incident, but I'm left with volume one. Most of these things have been, again, in that pile for months. This is the last of the pile. After this, there will be no more pile, so that's great. Lots of BL and Yuri manga that I decided to unhaul, as you saw earlier from the free shelf space on that shelf. And then in here, I have the stuff that's going to my friend, not these ones over here. I just put them in there so it's easier to carry, but I have these androids that I didn't even open, but we both love Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, especially part six, so I'm going to give these to her. I think she has three volumes of the case study of Vanitas, so I'll give her the rest of the ones I have, and then whichever ones are left, I will add to my half price books pile, and then the Heart of Thomas, which is damaged a little bit, but I think she will like that as well. And if she ends up wanting any of these other series, she is more than welcome to have them because, like I said, Half price books is probably gonna give me like 50 cents a piece, if that. So I'm fine if she wants them instead. But yeah, that's everything for this section of the video. Now let's move on to a little bit of a vlog portion. So it turns out if you want to vlog something, you do actually have to pull out your phone and take a video of the things you are doing. That's what a vlog means. And I'm not very good at vlogging in public, especially. So I didn't do it, but I did see the Haikyuu movie. 
I could do an entire review video about the Haikyuu movie, but I will say I was quite disappointed, especially with the first half of the movie. The pacing was downright bad, I would say. I think the pacing in the entire movie was a little suspect, but definitely in the first half. They ruined my favorite moment in that match, and honestly, that match is not my favorite match in the manga, so I wasn't going to love this movie, I don't think. I did enjoy it. I'm making it sound like I hated it. I enjoyed it by the end, but the first half was not great, and I couldn't help but wish that they had decided to do an entire season, and I'm really afraid of what they're going to do for the next movie, if they're still doing that, or what they're going to do, because I feel like they're gonna have to cut a lot of stuff. But yeah, I could talk about this for a long time. Me and my friend talked about it for like two hours. We were going to do a review of it, but I was thinking I don't wanna edit all that because we would be talking for a very long time. So I decided not to do that. But I also went to Half Price Books. I sold all those books I showed you and they gave me $87.05. The five cents is very important. So that ends up being about $1.50 a book, which obviously you can get much more than that, but that's actually better than I thought it would be. I usually have okay luck at Half Price Books, maybe because I'm bringing them manga and they're not the really big titles of manga, so maybe they can sell them for more. I don't know how it works exactly, but I did end up buying a book. Another one with vampires in it. There might be something wrong with me. I'm not sure, but I bought one book and that was it. Didn't buy any manga because I didn't have any manga that I wanted. But yeah, that was basically it for this video. I'm a little sad that I didn't end up vlogging but I just need to get used to doing it in public and actually like pulling out my phone and taking a video of what I'm doing. But yeah, thanks for watching. I hope everyone has a great month of June and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.